Dear loved ones, I hope you can all hear me. So today is auspicious day of Buddha Purnima. And we are one doing our first global video meeting or video session. We will see uh, how it goes. Based on that, we will arrange more such meetings in future. So today, uh, the schedule is a little tight. So I will directly come into directly uh, to the topic. But before going to the topic, all of us, we will start with three Om chanting and Guru Vandana. Then I will give you some brief explanation of what is loving protection, what message I received from Babaji. Then we'll start into the Kriya and other meditation and other things. All right, we'll start with three Om chanting. Breathe in. Uh... Now we'll pray to the masters, Babaji, Mataji, all the masters of Guru Mandala will have Guru Vandana right now. Akhanda Mandala Karam Bhapam Yena Chara Charam Tatpadam Darshitam Yena Tashmai Shri Guru Venama Agyana Timirandasa Gana Janashalakaya Chakshuran Militam Yena Tashmai Shri Guruve Namaha Tashmai Shri Guruve Namaha Tashmai Shri Guruve Namaha With the divine blessing of Mahavatar Babaji, we are now starting our session. The first section is today is inaugural session when I shall be explaining about the loving protection. As you are aware that we are going towards the era where whole world will be governed by the principle of humanity and pure love. So now we are going towards that era. So more and more such tools, spiritual tools will come to us as and when it is given to us, we will pass it on to you. Everything will be based on the pure love, the divine love, the unconditional love that we already explain in different workshops. So this particular method, and Babaji told me just two days back, in a, when a fifth of uh, uh, May, I was sitting in my evening meditation here. It's my area of, uh, this is my bedroom, come puja room. I was uh, sitting and doing a meditation and then Babaji has, appeared in his uh, uh, golden body, Shukshma Deha, and just given few tips. Because basically I was praying to give me something uh, because a lot of people are suffering from fear, which is quite understandable. I have already explained in my earlier voice message and which transcript also given and Facebook also we have given, but this is the crucial time. We shall not choose fear we should choose love. Love 
of whom love of our higher self our higher self knows exactly what is best for us and it can guide us but we have to listen we have to center ourselves and listen to our higher self with a pure loving connection only then the things will pass through us so that is the technique but still because we are so much habituated with this uh, third dimensional reality that uh, we get often dragged into into the fear what is uh, you know receiving different messages and news in the media or social media or whatever basically external sources we get panicked and we get fearful but those who have already ascended you know they are quite quite okay with everything they know that it it will be ultimately that era is coming it is it's a preparation so but not all of all of us into that awareness level that we can ignore the external factors completely so this session is only to give you that protection what given by baba ji that that i will do that uh, in during this you know rest of the session it is to protect you from unnecessary fear there will be some fear because fear is one of the emotion already built in into our system we cannot get rid of it completely but all types of fear basically is coming from fear of unknown which is not known we get fearful you know if, if in the you know childhood when we there is area some dark then we get fearful we don't go there why because it is not known there is no light there same here the technique is same that something is not known something is not clear something we don't know how this global pandemic is going we are fearful we don't have we don't have a clear path so this is the transition phase we understand that everything is not clear when you reach to the other side of that whole episode then it will be clear to you but during the process you need some support and that's what baba ji is giving is is called loving protection so this loving protection it will be there will be specially energized your heart chakra you know it it is not imported from anywhere else it is your heart chakra which will be activated with a certain higher frequency which will be good enough to operate the transition phase as well as to the next dimensional energy also let me quickly give you a little bit understanding of uh, in lockdown what is happening you know why this is lockdown what is the divine plan against it what has happened is that all the energy level has gone high the earth energy has gone high the vibration level it's called shuman frequency or shuman resonance and then all of our internal cellular level there is a massive transformation happened whether you know it or not you know last few years last particularly last 3 years massive transformation happened within our body time to time we used to fall very much uh, um, tired and some sleep pattern changes somebody's food habit changes even somebody's changes in the relationship pattern the you know old relation they looking into different way you know and going still further all these things bodily there are a lot of changes has happened why this change happened because we need to hold the higher level of frequency the vibration to have the higher level of vibration you need to have the better container but if we are busy with you know our mundane activities of life and running here and there and you know all these kind of things what we used to do for all these years uh, i'm not saying anything good and bad i'm saying what is the purpose of this now unless until you physically yourself stabilize the frequency cannot stabilize within you it cannot happen and that's why it is a it is a divine plan to put you into some form of stability at home <laughs> so that that particular energy that particular vibration stabilizes within you you don't run around here and there so voluntarily nobody was doing you know nobody was you know 
taking it as an option. Yeah, they used to do for the parties and movies and things. I'm, I'm not saying anything bad. Yeah, traveling here and there, you know, unnecessarily. Unnecessarily means, okay, fine, they are allowed to. It's not about allowing, not allowing, but that, this kind of roaming around was not allowing the frequency to settle down within ourselves at the cellular level. So that's why now it has been, we are actually forced to stabilize ourselves. Center ourselves. This is an opportunity. We have centered ourselves physically. There is not much movement and not going here and there. There is not much places we can put our attentions out there. So that's why this is the time actually last two months, huge amount, amount of energy has been settled in at your cellular level. So that's what has happened. So I will not go too much into detail. I think uh, we don't have much time today. So now I'm, uh, so now this technique is giving to you as a shield, as a protection by Babaji. So once it is done, so you will be able to hold your higher vibration of love frequency coming from you only from core of your heart that higher level of loving vibration will come fear is absence of love like a darkness is absence of light fear is absence of love because of our old habit pattern we again and again falling into this fear pattern it's not logical i'm not saying you don't have a reason to be fearful there are in fact there are many reasons now to be fearful but this will empower you to come from that external side to internal side. Internal side stabilize at your heart, own heart chakra. And Babaji is there. I will, I will arrange to meet Babaji there after in this session only. Babaji is there within your heart chakra, in your Hidaya Guha. And he is always there, in fact. It is not new kid today, he will come and get into that and sit down there. No, he is already there. But our only thing is, we have to take Babaji's help from within. You cannot get every time when master to be around you. You know, it's not possible. But you have the built-in, the Babaji's blessings, and he's already inside you. Only thing, when you are too much deflected, center yourself, go to your own heart chakra, and you know that you are always protected, and you will be. Till everything is over, till we go to that next uh, phase, you know, next era, wherever it comes. And let me also tell you one thing, the truth, the spiritual uh, reality, the truth rather, there, there's no reality as such in spirituality, it's truth. That the, the truth is that as you have chosen to take birth in this period, we have given a three different era we will see. One was the old era, what our childhood era, what, how we used to live in there, there is no internet, no mobile, no nothing. That, that era, and they, this is a transition era where it is transitioned from that era to that golden era, where it will be governed by the spiritual principles. This is the transition. So there are three. If you say dimension wise, it was third dimension. This is fourth dimension, which is a transition period, and it will be fifth dimension, where it will settle in. I have already mentioned one of my voice message that. I feel to completely settle and see the visual, those changes will be around uh, 2028, you know, when it will be, everything will be well settled. But this transition period we have to undergo. We have to center ourselves with the protection and loving protection of Babaji. Then we have to settle in past this time, you know, where there is too much storm outside. We don't go out. Even if, we think that whatever protection technique we used to know, says like umbrella used to go, umbrella will go away. That protection is not good enough. You need a stronger spiritual support and protection and that's what Babaji is giving you today. So I hope it is clear now. So there will be one question answer session, one you know slot, I kept it later. So uh, you, if you have any question, you just note it down, ask me that time. Now I cannot stop to answer the questions. I will go directly into the practical sessions, what I need to show you. Because other question answer can happen in WhatsApp, in other messages, but I cannot demonstrate something. So that is the purpose of today's session, video conferencing. So now what I'm doing, I already explained what is needed. 
many people are fearful rightly or wrongly because primarily because they cannot detach themselves from their chattering mind that is the primary reason because if the mind is stopped there will be no fear you will be at present moment at place and nothing will happen but it is difficult to hold that okay so now i am doing a process now which will annihilate your fear whatever is the fear now i am coming to the second stage now which is between 7:15 to 7:30 of your time india time so fear now uh, what i will do i will explain it here then i will go back and show you when i need to show something so that time i will, i cannot talk because you cannot hear me because if i go away from the screen the microphone so i'm just explaining what i'm going to do then i'll come back and then continue further fear now i'm explaining i'm going into the detail of fear itself all our fears are normally stored at our navel navel area that is the area where our fears are stored and that is also an area where there is a connection of 72000 nadis the energy system of our body because of that it through that nadis it transfers that kind of fear and that's why we you know think fearful act fearfully and behave fearfully you know and uh, we try to say okay we will not uh, uh, watch watch the news it is too much too much of death and then say what is happening okay so these kind of things all the mind games will come out of that so this process i will do so that now right now whatever accumulated fear you have so far will get released right now and that is the process i will show you first i will demonstrate you i will come back then i will guide you then you have to perform that okay now listen carefully here you need the knowledge of stomach breathing you know how we have done stomach breathing i have sent you link and the workshops i have explained you and uh, if some of you if you still don't know about it just listen and practice it later on it's okay but now i wanted to do all of you to practice that in this case what is the difference between this is that uh, you have to inhale and the strong belly will come out like a balloon and while exhaling and normally we exhale through nose right we we have to exhale through nose in this case you have to exhale through mouth okay so you do i will show you i will show you then i'll come back and i'll guide you so first inhale the belly coming out and exhale to air will be going out from your mouth and this we need to do 21 times remember that 21 times you have to maybe when i guide you i will count myself you will do it i will count myself for you all of you but only thing is first when you focus when you inhale focus at your navel area where your all the fears are okay if you don't agree doesn't matter think that all figure fears are there okay that is the storage of all your fears so you focus there and you focus very lovingly not critically not uh, not abusingly okay fear you have to address lovingly so that fear will be neutralized just like in the chemistry lab you know if you want to neutralize some you know the alkaline solution you have to put acid solution into it right so same here fear if you want to address you have to give a dose of love so that's why when you put your attention into your navel do it lovingly already somebody has asking uh, you know question in that uh, in the forum few days back uh, uh, what is uh, loving attention then i have given explanation that you know like a, your baby think it is your baby how you look at your baby very lovingly if it is somebody else you may not be looking at something but not lovingly similarly you look at concentrate focus on your navel area lovingly not critically or thinking that what the hell you are doing why you are bothering me too much no okay 
so that you concentrate there while inhaling so while inhaling you have to concentrate on your navel area while exhaling your intention innermost attention intention will be whatever caused the fear no unknown whatever blocks created it whatever negativity created it whatever information created it whatever outside elements created it all are coming out of my system and going out through my mouth i repeat this part okay it is not a mechanical thing that you do stomach breathing only you exhale through mouth it is not mechanical while inhalation of course you will do three to do stomach breathing like belly will come out at the same time you have to focus on your navel with a loving attention you have to give it to navel area and then when you press both the hands you press the navel area and while exhalation you have to you have to intend that all whatever blocks whatever negativity cause that fear that is going out through your mouth through your breathing through your exhalation going out of your system this we need to repeat 21 times now i am going to demonstrate you how it is to be done then i will ask all of you to do that i will just make the count and do the do the guiding so now i when i go there i may not be able to talk you may not be able to listen to me i will demonstrate and again come back here this i have demonstrated you this is a stomach breathing only instead of nose i am exhaling through mouth so all of you please stand up so that and put your hands on your navel area don't bother about video it's okay if you can hear me that's enough now with the intention put your intention on your navel and the intention giving loving attention to your navel and then you start the inhalation ready start one and exhale from mouth two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Now take your seat. Slowly come back to your seat. feel the vibration within now we'll go to our next session which is individual flower charging session that may take little longer time i hope you are all ready all necessary instructions are already given keep your flower ready you have this flower ready so now and whoever has got the paper whoever has got the paper do it like this paper no paper with uh, whoever has been used the yellow you know turmeric paste and the paper 
if you if you already have a flower no need paper i'm talking those who are do not have flower they have alternative flower or there is a paper that we explained earlier so please raise your hand who are using paper some yellow turmeric okay good um, mohit i can see uh, mohit is a flower anybody having paper don't raise your hand if you have a, any flower anybody having the paper okay Taro, i can see Taro. okay uh, who else all right okay so now whoever has paper just make it like a like a flower like you know fold it like this just to fold it and keep it in your hand that's all you need to do others who are having any flower just hold the flower like this okay till your name is called don't uh, you know the come in front of course that you will not be seen only one screen at a time will be seen now i'm i'm explaining you the process so when your name will be called by the host anurag uh, so first actually it will be done by anurag uh, and dipanita so i will start with them but i'm just telling that after them whoever names should be called as per the serial not name sorry the serial number please come to the screen he will unmute you and what you need to do don't ask too many questions or something because we need to do it fast okay any question i will address later but you have to come and you have to tell your name and location because i need to channel the energy so i need your name and the location the where energy will go because we are doing remotely don't assume he already knows it and I, he knows better you know why to tell the surname uh, he knows don't do that we are doing some process here so you can if you wish you can say namaskar or pranam or you know hello or something that's okay one word then your name my name is this and i am from your current location from where you are it doesn't matter everybody knows it or not just you have to tell that so that energy will go there okay and you have to put the flower like this you know in front of you your camera whatever flower you are holding you have to flower you just hold it like this so so that i can see at least your eyes and the flower okay and then i will chant a quick mantra baba ji's invoking mantra which already you know i have told you earlier uh, that uh, you know that mantra what baba ji gave uh, at uh, his uh, cave that om triguna tripura mahavindum asti that is the mantra i will chant the mantra so once it is done that is over don't expect that something else will come and i will wait till he tells me to go no i will not tell that once you hear the mantra simply go so that next person can come in already i explained if your family where there are more than one person in the same camera just one person has to go and next person has to appear and do the same thing my name is this uh, and including surname and same location same location to be repeated by the second person if there are three it is repeated by the third person my name is so and so and i am from this location okay don't make sure already you, okay uh, you know my husband already told about the location no need to tell don't do that because it's a process it's not about knowledge okay so do that and then i will chant the mantra to you and then you know after mantra finishes just you know go back so that if this all members of the family is over then host will change unmute another person as per the serial number so then that person will come and i will do the same thing i wanted to do it quick because we have only you know maybe 10 12 minutes for this and we have uh, how many 42 right now uh, the participants so uh, please do one by one so i will start first with uh, uh, anurag and dipanita uh, we have to stand up or can do it no 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 need to stand up you put the flower in front only i can i need to see your eyes okay it can be little you know distance it's okay as long as i can yeah that's perfect yeah <clears throat> my 
Uh, Can you um, do that only, uh, you know, your screen or everybody is there? Yeah, only my screen is unmuted. And then uh, number signal number two and three, I will get after myself. Okay, all right. Okay, let me change my view. Okay, clear. Yes. Pranam uh, Razibai. My name is Anurag Sahai and uh, coming from Sydney, Australia. And Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Pranam Razibji. My name is Dipamita oh. Sahai. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Vidya Hazare. Vidya Hazare, please. Pranam Ji. Pranam. Vidya Hazare. I am from Mumbai, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Next one, Sumali Roy. Sonali Roy, are you there? Okay. Let's move on to number four, serial number four. Samunath Roy. Let's make your video on. Number four is not there. Number five, Raj. Sorry, uh, Hariyom Juneja. Uh, Hariyom. I have unmuted you. Hariyom Juneja, Shalimar Bagh. Hariyom Juneja, Shalimar Bagh, Delhi. Lift up the flower. I cannot see the flower. Lift the flower up. Yes, yes. Om Traguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Kesar Das Duneja, Shalimar Bad Dili. Om Traguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Sanjeev Chomal. Once again, Sanjeev. Yes, Sanjeev. Sanjeev Chomal. Raj, Raj Choma. Raj. Raj, are you there? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, please speak up. Hi, Cleo. Your name, location? Uh, Pranam RPA, Raj Chomal from Faridabad, India. 
ಓಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ those who have already done just put the flower in your hand and meditate just awareness be be aware of your breath right thing just be aware till the next part of the session starts got up got up ben got up ben keep from voice tala mola get ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಸುಪ್ರಿಯ ಡೇ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ವಿಜಯ ಭಗವತೀಶ್ವರ ಸಿಡ್ನಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹಲೋ ರಾಜದೀಪ್ ಜಿ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಧಾ ಸಿನ್ಹಾ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ಸಿಡ್ನಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ದೇವಪಾಲ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಡೆಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗುರುಜಿ ವಿಂದ್ಯ ರುಕ್ಮಣಿ ಭಗವತೀಶ್ವರನ್ ದುಬೈ ಯು ಎ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಶಿವಕುಮಾರ್ ಸೂರ್ಯನಾರಾಯಣನ್ ದುಬೈ ಯು ಎ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಗುರುಜಿ ತಮೋಗ್ನಾಕುಮಾರ್ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಅವಜಿತ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮೋನಿಕಾ ವರ್ಮ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ್ ಆರ್ ಪಿ ಎಂ ಮೋನಿಕಾ ವರ್ಮ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಆರಫ್ ಹಾಯ್ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಆರವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಓಂ ತ್ರಿಗುಣಾತ್ರಿಪುರ ಮಹಾವಿಂದು ಅಸ್ತಿ ಹಲೋ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಡಿತಿಯಾ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ 
ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति महाविंदुम अस्ति Aditi Tarupta. I am Aditi Tarupta from Kolkata, India. Your flower, little up flower. Till then, you are good to go. Flower, little up. त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति नमस्कार नमस्कार ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति सिद्धार्थ बासुमलिक your name and yeah i am divan shah from marashat west bengal india om triguna tripura mahabindu masti मधुसूदन नार्वेकर नार्वेकर यस या फ्लावर लिटिल अप फ्लावर मोर मोर लिटिल रुसी कैमरे के सामने फ्लावर 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 इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा फ्लावर little up hand little up yes 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 up hand up yeah okay om triguna tripura mahavindum asti jan ani namaste rajdeep ji namaste maker maskat ho ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति चांदनी प्रणाम गुरुजी प्रणाम मोहम्मद चांदनी शाइनबर्ग दिल्ली इंडिया लिटिल अप लिटिल अप फ्लावर यस ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति विजय स्वामी प्रणाम गुरुजी प्रणाम विजय स्वामी विजय स्वामी ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति प्रणाम गुरुजी अम्मा प्रणाम 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 गुरुजी ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदुम अस्ति प्रणाम गुरुजी प्रणाम नाम गुरुजी मैंने कर्षा दिल्ली 
ओम त्रिपुरा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु मस्ते प्रणाम गुरुजी नाम संगीता दिल्ली ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु मस्ते रीना विश्वास cannot hear you sai bala krishna some noida lift the flower lift the flower yeah. om triguna tripura mahavindum asti रीना विश्वास टू पीपुल रीना विश्वास टू पीपुल सेकेंड वन सेकेंड पर्सन प्लीज ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु अस्ति साईबाल घोषाल हाँ प्रणाम महावतर माता जी प्रणाम महावतर माता जी बाबा जी प्रणाम राजदेव साईबाल घोषाल मेल्टन जॉर्जिया यूएसए Can you see the flower? Om, Om Trigona Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Pranam uh, Rajdeep uh, Shomishta Ghoshal from Milton, Georgia, USA. Om Trigona Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Pinky Sinha. प्रणाम राजदीप दा पिंकी सिन्हा सांता क्लारा कैलिफोर्निया यूएसए ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु मस्ते अनुरा कैन यू गो बैक टू शैवाल प्लीज शैवाल मुसाल प्लीज थैंक यू हाय अंकल शरासी गोशाल फ्रॉम मिल्टन जॉर्जिया यूएसए ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु मस्ते अम हाय अंकल समीत गोशाल फ्रॉम मिल्टन जॉर्जिया यूएसए ओम त्रिगुणा त्रिपुरा महाविंदु मस्ते जनकिया दत्ता जनिका दीप प्रणाम राजदीप जनिका दत्ता From Salt Lake, Kolkata, India. Lift up the flower. Lift the flower a little bit up. Yes. Om Trigona Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Those who have completed, please meditate. Put your the flower in between your hands and meditate. Except, of course. Anurag and Dipanita. Others should meditate who have already completed. Avna Chopra. Pranam Radhiji. Pranam. Avna Chopra, Dashat Puri, New Delhi, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti.
Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti Sujata Chakravarti Cannot hear you. Ajit, can you see a flower? No. Tujata, louder. Okay, we'll do it later. Hmm. Number 30, Siva Kumar S is same as Vindya. Yeah, he has already done. Basant Pandey. Basant Pandey. Pranam Raji Bhai. Uh, Pranam. Ohayo. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavati. <laughs> Vinayak Pal Pranam RPA Vinayak Pranam San Gabriel, California Show the flower, show the flower. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Rekha Gulani. Pranam Guruji. I'm Rekha Gulani from Rameshnagar, Shalimar Vah, Rameshnagar, Delhi, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Nirupam Das. Uh, I am Nirupam Das, uh, Mumbai, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Tarak Roy. Namaskar, am I audible? Yes. Yes. Uh, Pranam Razdeep. Pranam. Myself, Tarak Rai from Kolkata, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Panindu Roy. Pranam Rasti. Pranam. Currently based in Lucknow, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Pranam Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti Can you say your name again? Tulika Roy from Lucknow Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Uh, 
this is Kritika from Lucknow. Om Trigona Tripura Mahavindam Masti. Om Mangalam. Om Mangalam. Pranam Guruji. Pranam. Pranam Guruji. Om Mangalam. Om Mangalam. Pranam. Pranam. I am Preeti Vasudev from Madre, Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Bless me, bless me, bless me. Mohit Chopra. Pranam Arke. Pranam. This is, this is Mohit Chopra from Dwarka, New Delhi. Flower Little Up, yes. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindum Masti. Ajanta Palit. Pranam Rajsita Ajanta Palit from Bangalore. Lift the flower a little bit up, flower. Yeah. Little more, little more. Yes. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Umadi. I am um, Uma Devi. Pranam. Gurubhyo Namaha. Uh, Uma Devi, Bangalore, Karnataka, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Sonika Koshik. Uh, Pranam Arpi. My name is Sonika Koshik. Uh, Noida, India. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Pranam Arpi. Pranam. Uh, my name is Rashmi from India, Bangalore. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Charu. Charu Sivi. Okay, uh, Charu. So let's Sambunat Roy Sambunat Roy can't see you. Your camera is not on. Okay, he's not there. Uh, Sonali Roy. Okay. Shambhunath Roy. Can you unmute yourself and then you can show? Sure. Sanjeev. Uh, Chumal. Sanjeev Chumal. Siddharth. 
सिद्धार्थ बासु मलिक सुजादा चक्रवर्ती अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ कैनॉट हियर यू यू आर अनम्यूटेड सो समाज योर माइक्रोफोन इज नॉट वर्किंग आई थिंक Don't use headphone directly. Use the mic of the mobile. Mm -hmm. I think it's not working for you. Um, we'll go back to uh, Charu CV. I think his microphone is working now. Charu. चारू सी के नॉट हियर यू ओके लेट्स सी दी लास्ट नेम ऑफ यू नयना प्रभु नेहा शाह वी हैव डन आरपी विद एवरीबडी राइट नाउ Uh, uh, just ask if anybody in the video not got chance raise hand sujata you have to uh, if you can uh, click on sujata's video you can see her hand she is not able to talk because her audio is not at all Sandeep also is raising, but we are. Yeah. Sandeep Kumar. Okay. Sandeep, can you speak now? Pranam. I am Sandeep Kumar Mishra. Can you? Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Anyone else? Please raise your hand. Um, Rajdeep, if you can just click on Sujata's video, you will be able to see. Yes, Sujata, just tell your location. I think and show your flower. Please. i cannot hear you but it's okay i can see you om triguna tripura mahavindu masti okay babushana om triguna tripura mahavindu masti sanjeev chomal शिशिर कुमार इज जॉइन जस्ट नाउ शिशिर कुमार या 
show your flower to Kartik. Yeah, now I have joined. Thank you. Show your name and show, uh, tell your name and location and show your flower to Kartik, uh, please. Yeah, Shishir Kumar Bishwas. My location is in Duliajan, Assam, India. The flower. All right. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Um, that's all uh, Raj has come, okay. Um, Raj. All right. I will now, uh, uh, those who have not done, I will do it. I can, I am just saying the name and please raise your flower. I cannot hear you, but I will still do that. First is Sonali Roy. Please raise your flower. Yes, I can see that. I will do that. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti Raj Chumal Raj Chumal I think his audio is not working. Raj Chumal, she has already done. Sanjeev, Sanjeev, yeah, put the flower like this. Yes, I can, I can see you. Um, just uh, one by one, then I will go to your parents. Huh? Can you unmute Sanjeev? Sanjeev, just a second. Sanjeev Chomal. Yeah, unmuted. Sanjeev, can you speak now? No, I cannot hear you. Just, just show the flower. It's okay. Show the flower. Yeah, I cannot hear you. Show the. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Okay, done. Now let your mom come. Yeah. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Yes. Om Triguna Tripura Mahavindu Masti. Yes, now let me see if anybody else is uh, left. Uh, Shalu, Ji, if you want, uh, if your video is on, you can come on. No, that's all. I don't see anybody else who has not done yet. All, done. Nice all right. Well, uh, those I'm just saying those who miss this somehow because of technical issues and otherwise, you can join the next session um, on uh, Saturday morning. A separate link will be sent to you. Then try to get that corrected, the video, audio, uh, whatever you can get corrected and please do join. So I'll proceed with our next session. Uh, okay. Now, I shall come, all of you are already done that. So, I'm not been able to, Okay. All right. So all of you are already done that. So now I will explain you the process. So um, Anuda, can can you put me into the speaker view and mute everybody? I can see you. Can you put me into that?
Okay. So now I will explain. I cannot see me here. Just let me see. Yeah. All right. So now all of you, the flowers are charged. Now I will explain you. Please, uh, you know, look at me carefully. So all of you can see me. Just raise your physical hand. Can you see me? Full screen? Full screen? Okay. Now I'm going to explain you the process, whatever you're going to do with this. First step. I will guide you. First you understand what needs to be done, then I will, I will guide you for the process. First you, with, in, the, in your heart chakra, in the heart chakra you hold the flower inside with your heart chakra, right hand then on top left hand. The charged flower hold at your heart chakra like this. Okay? And after this, uh, all of you, you hold that, then I will pray to Babaji and in, in this mode, not now, I will for, you know, do it later. There I will guide you to some meditation to enter into Hridaya Guha and then get in touch with Babaji. And also during that time, I will put one Babaji's Jyotirmaya Roop, the Roop what you will get inside but I will put it into the screen so that you can contemplate on that and meet with Babaji there. And then you pray to him for his loving protection. So the first step is you have to hold that charged flower on your heart chakra with the right hand, then on left hand. You know, video sometimes it is reversed. Use just follow what I am saying, not look at me what I am doing here. It may be mirror opposite. Just you have to put right hand first with your flower and then left hand. Then I will guide you into some meditation for two minutes to go inside your Hridaya Guha. When that is done, then you have to stand up. Now, uh, before I go there, let me explain you. Heart chakra is the center of all seven chakras in the body. We have seven chakra. There, are, this is the fourth chakra. There, there is a third one. There is a second one, and the muladhar, first one. And also on above heart chakra, there are three. It is the throat chakra, third eye, and the crown chakra. So now this part, listen carefully. Once the Hridaya Guha part is over, then you have to stand up and rotate this flower seven times around your heart chakra, passing through the next two chakras, means throat chakra and Manipura, like this. And this rotation, rotation will be clockwise. Imagine that there is a clock, which side rotating the clock hand, that direction it will go. So first round will be seven, seven cycles of rotating this flower around your heart chakra at the level of your throat chakra and Manipura. It will look like this. Now I'll demonstrate. Left hand, left hand will be on your heart chakra. Right hand will rotate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the first cycle, seven. Total, we have to do three rounds. Each has seven cycles like this. First cycle, we have crossed immediate next chakras up and below the heart chakra means our hand has crossed the fifth chakra and the third chakra at that level next round will be one step higher means next heart chakra which is the sixth and the second swadishtan chakra below the uh, um, below the navel 
So the hand will rotate, left hand will be here on your heart chakra and hand with the flower will rotate like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the second round complete, I have seven cycles. And now the last one, which should be beyond all chakras above. It, it is not the, the seventh and first. It is not that you stretch the hand, right hand, as much as possible. It will cover all your hair chakras. It will look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That completes that protection shield. This is the process what I explained to you. So now I will guide you, you have to do it. You know, if you, if you better, if you can stand up, it is better. But if you have any difficulty in standing, it, it can be done in sitting also. Now I will guide you. You should be in a such a distance so that you can hear me. Take the flower and hold it at your heart chakra. Hold it at your heart chakra. Right hand and then press by the left hand. And then I will sing a prayer of Babaji. Then I will guide you further. Close your eyes. Bring it to your intention to meet Babaji inside your Hridaya Guha and seek for loving protection. I will put one image in my screen so that you can concentrate on that. This is the Jyotirmaya Rupa of Babaji in the huge amount of light Babaji's image is there. If you just see a little bit shade that is good enough. Now keeping the flower at your heart chakra, right hand first on top of your left hand, close your eyes and then I will pray to Babaji. And with a small prayer, then you intend that going inside your heart chakra. It is not a physical. You intend there is a cave and heart chakra is, in, is an opening of that cave and you are entering into that dimension. You go further and further, Babaji will be there. And then you put your intention, you pray to Babaji to seek his loving protection. Now close your eyes. Om Mangalam, Om Kaar Mangalam, Guru Mangalam, Guru Pad Mangalam, Om Mangalam, Om Kaar Mangalam, 
Guru Mangalam, Guru Pada Mangalam, Om Mangalam, Om Kara Mangalam, Guru Mangalam, Guru Pada Mangalam. Now express deep gratitude to Babaji and enter into the cave. and move forward. Now we can meet Babaji right there. I'm praying to Babaji to bless you. Now you intend, you seek Babaji's blessings and loving protection. And the divine is done. Babaji is blessing you and saying, Be it so, Tathastu. Now you come back from the cave and give your loving energy to that flower. Your heart chakra is immensely powerful by Babaji's light and, and pure love. There will be the bursting of pure love within you. You put all that into that flower. Let the flower soak all the loving energy, all your gratitude, and all your awareness, give that into that flower. Now, slowly open your eyes and hold the flower into the right hand and put your left hand on your heart chakra. Now be ready to rotate this flower seven times clockwise around your heart chakra. It will pass through a level of throat chakra and manipura. Now please start rotating. One, Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now next round will start. Raise the flower at the level of your third eye. Hold it in front of your third eye. Now this will be the second, second round, seven cycles. It will pass through your third eye and your Swadishthan Chakra, which is just below the navel. So it will pass through your forehead and below the navel level, hand. Start rotating. One, clockwise. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now stretch your hand, right hand, beyond your head, beyond Shasra towards up as much as possible. Left hand will still remain at your heart chakra. Left hand will be at heart chakra, right hand stretched up as much as you can. And this is the third and last round, seven cycles. And 
स्टार्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव Six, seven. Now you sit down to your own place, keeping the flower in both of your hands, and do the pranam and express deep gratitude to Baba Ji. And and say I'm thankful for giving me this loving protection. and this loving protection will protect from all human creations everything that is creating fear on earth known unknown all mind activities all activities done by others all will be dissolved by this protection so that nothing absolutely nothing can touch me except your love and light so with this this loving protection session is complete keep the flower in a paper or in a envelope or something it it should be you can keep it with you for some time but after that it need to be put it into any water body or in any earth dig it up and put it there your shield is there now the the flower purpose of this flower is over we have already done that but now it has to be we have to give a bisarjan like either in a water body or you have to put some below the earth sometime not necessarily today you can do it uh, any time keep it carefully this should not be disrespected it should not fall on the ground and go to a dustbin just be careful of that that's all so now uh, now the session is open for question answer if you have any so as explained in the method you first you have to select raise hand and then anurag and dipanita will you know unmute yourself then you can ask your question if don't have any question that is fine just meditate be in that meditative mode that is more important Shishir Kumar, do you have any question? Please ask. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, respected RPA, thank you so much for loving protection. Uh, we all are blessed. uh my only request i best i sent earlier also uh, to bless my two sons who are away from us they could not join shamik in adelaide and uh, shambit in uh, new year so bless them that is my no. request yes you for just i, I already bless i am blessing them but all of you who has somebody some member who is not attending this session send the name separately to me separately you know whatsapp message to me their location and name i will send that okay so in this session no need to ask for that blessing for the somebody who is not attending so if you have any question regarding any process or anything just okay. ask that otherwise after that send me all all the names by whatsapp i will send channel you know uh, the blessing and healing energy my prayer for them thank you 
there is a process of raising hand in the one year down there. Diman, Diman, please. Yeah, uh, my question yes. is uh, how long this pandemic will uh, last in India uh, as well as West Bengal, Kolkata, and how much uh, it will damage? that uh, this aspect i have already written earlier my intuitive feeling because uh, yeah. see what happens in the higher dimension there is no time and space so we can see what is uh, you know the uh, finally what is going to happen uh, but how many people will die etc the statistics we don't see you know that, that honest uh, you know opinion we don't see that but uh, what the time is coming we can see that uh, what will happen and intuitively what i found earlier that overall that about uh, 90 percent below 90 percent something will be will be there for long but major that wave it is called so that major wave will be over by june and again there is a second wave some sort of thing will come sometime in september october and after that it will be very nominal level it may not be complete but maybe 90 percent of thing will be over so that's what i feel so but again this timing are my assessment we don't get spiritual messages about the timing we can see what is the things happening we get the feeling but we cannot predict time rightly sometimes but i'm just giving you the truth this is the reality but that's what i feel and that's what i already shared that uh, no, by September, October, after that, it will over the majority part of it, the pandemic part of it. But it will be still there as a disease or something, as like any other disease, it will, it will remain there. Saibal, Saibal Kushal. Yeah. Rajdeep, this is a question I perhaps should have asked, but I want to ask in a larger audience. I'm seeing a weird pattern between it doesn't matter rich or poor, but even educated versus uneducated. Many of my neighbors who are very educated and all don't see this as a threat, like some of the folks back in India or other parts of the country. The way they are going out and dealing with the things, and all, mostly all the leaders are trying to open it up, thinking this will go away. Is this something, a divine plan, or is this the mind of these individuals that are playing into it? No, this is not a divine plan. All the, these are human creations. It, it cannot be a divine plan. But, but what is the... See, what, the divine plan is to, you know, slow down and introspect. Okay. And already I have uh, written earlier people who are already uh, leaving the body. It is choice of their soul. You know, it's not uh, their victim of something. Our soul is very powerful. Without our soul's permission, nothing can happen. So it is just, it needs an alibi, an excuse to leave the body. And now it is a many are uh, leaving the body. And uh, the reason they are leaving the body is they wanted to take birth into the new era. That is their choice. They wanted to see the first two stage, what I already explained in the beginning of today's session, that the old age, the transition, third dimension, fourth, which is transition, and the fifth one, they wanted to see the first two and then leave the body and come into the fifth dimension directly. Because if you take birth in fifth dimensional era, you already have a built-in system, like crystalline structure and the cell, and you can receive the energy, you can go to the meditative state very easily, you can you do self-healing very easily now whatever we are struggling and trying to learn you know in years of effort they it will be like this they will get it automatically so that's why that body they are they are choosing they will come and regarding other things what people are taking decisions and all these are all man-made there's nothing to do about it and because whatever decisions the collectively taken the results will be accordingly you know that will come accordingly because all the people have a free will and that is the reason we cannot predict exactly the same thing you know already um, you know the question regarding number and all we, we don't know because those are comes to the area of free will 
more people will choose fear more the the you know uh, more people will cross over because they're choosing the fear more people will choose that spiritual thing like they will stick to their soul's plan or i mean uh, that uh, uh, the trust on their soul and all these things they will be saved so that that is why we we don't know it's a free will you know you can choose both ways we are, we are in a t junction so you have already come to the t whichever direction you choose you have free will to choose either direction so how many will choose this direction how many will choose other that is the that will make the difference only the spiritual master can give guidance that which way to go but they cannot force people to go because it comes into the free will agreement that nobody will force anybody to do certain things so that is that is the the understanding of these things so but the consequence of any human decisions need to be that will be there you know and that will be vary from place to place you know you can see that different type of people taking different decisions and outcome will be completely different thank you <clears throat> all right if there is no other question we'll go into the meditation last sequence yes. yes anurag chand nahi has a question ha chand guruji so we are on video uh, since we are on video conferencing call so uh, i i hope Uh, it is possible for you to see our spiritual growth till now what we have achieved so uh, so is it possible for you to discuss that right now or you can message us later on about our spiritual growth by visualizing us right see um, in, in this regard i have an advice <laughs> okay uh, so i am intentionally not answering this question exactly what you asked for and i'll tell you the reason for that okay this measuring and milestone and achieving something is a third dimensional concept what you are adventuring into that is a fifth dimensional area their measurements are completely different okay it cannot be me measured by the percentages and the activation uh, you know what level are level 1 level 2 level 3 those none they no levels are there okay only you have to keep walking to reach to the destination you should not deviate from that so my advice in this regard is keep walking and let me just to you know i don't want to completely desert any you so i am telling you as you have chosen you not know, to come here and attend the session that itself you have achieved a big milestone there there are millions who have not chosen forget about meeting and getting advice from some master you already have achieved a lot you are walking in the right direction okay so keep walking don't forget about this you know uh, uh, how many are achieved and not achieved and all those kind of things yeah, you are in the right direction that much i i can tell you you know all of us whoever is here they have achieved already a big milestone okay so there is no doubt about it that you have chosen to spend some time here for on this kind of topics you know that itself is a big thing you know many people will run away when when they listen to the name of spirituality okay so okay come across a huge huge you know path a distance already on the spiritual path so keep walking and guidance will be given as and when individually you need all of our are not same nobody is lower than anybody nobody is higher than anybody either so how it is possible because we are all unique our paths are unique that's why the measurement is not a good concept because we have chosen a path to come cross two mountain then one river then you know took a car to come to some place and any somebody else has chosen to go to the aeroplane and then get dropped by the parachute then walk you know 5 km so which which one is right and which one is wrong whoever has taken the aeroplane first he is the faster no maybe he will you know reach later so on that basis of these things we cannot judge it is your chosen path you are walking 
only thing is any master will tell you keep the compass keep going to the right direction when the direction is deviated then we make something and put it into it sometimes ego traps us and then the the true guru will will do a thappar mar ke usko seedhe raste mein lata so that the ego doesn't come and interfere into all these things okay sometimes it become feel insulted bahut bura lagta hai but then you analyze bura kisko lag raha hai which entity of you which part of you is getting insulted that part has to go okay we'll see the clarity beyond that not before that okay so anyway so you are you will be guided no matter what okay so so even if i tell you you are 99% and you will be very happy and then you will stop doing anything from <laughs> so so that that is not going to happen okay so keep working and it will be given and it will be in the right time in the right dose okay if you are deviated definitely will stop but otherwise keep working that is the best strategy and don't bother ki kitna ho raha hai doesn't matter you are walking your own unique path in that part nobody else has traveled so far then they cannot measure and tell you okay but only you are in the right direction keep walking okay thank you pradeepan we that's all question we have for today okay so now uh, how many time left we have or already we have, have some what you like everybody will like to meditate or like to conclude meditate ab meditate meditate okay. all right okay so now uh, we'll do our uh, today's buddha purnima so it will be the guided meditation so it should take about 15 to 20 minutes so and we will do our expanded awareness state and be there for some time and then we'll conclude our session another way a question yes go, go, go ahead yeah actually uh, i have been practicing some uh, clairvoyance exercises by myself mm-hmm. and okay. uh, sometimes happen some incident happens on the news or something or some regarding this covid also so mm-hmm. regarding i just uh, meditate on the question and and uh, sometimes i get some uh, like uh, get some understanding uh, of that and these okay. understanding are uh, uh, like uh, as if they are happening in a positive way yes so i find a positive understanding of everything i of every question i put right so, so something like uh, why uh, why is the covid happening so this is because of that but looking at the positive side road accidents have uh, reduced so there are 15000 dying every month now there are zero so this is a positive side and yeah. uh, even there was an incident of lynching of uh, two gurus in india that also i found that uh, because it might be possible that it was their divine plan to join their master because their master was, has also left two days before them so mm-hmm. could be their divine plan so like this i try to make myself understand that these are all part of the divine plan but i am not mm-hmm. sure with i am actually correct or not but, but i get a some kind of inner peace with those answers so uh, how much tra- how much can i trust these uh, understandings that i get or the correct right uh, see uh, the, the, there are two things here let me first tell you during meditation you will get your inner feeling it's called gut feeling or intuition okay so that is fine you know it doesn't matter right and wrong that is your feeling you are getting the message from your inner voice that is absolutely fine okay because you are not here to prove something you know something to anyone you need not to prove it to anyone it's your inner feeling and it will remain so just like the dream we we see certain dream uh, during when we sleep 
we need not to prove that what we saw we cannot prove it but the dream itself is a is a fact for us right we see and we know what is going on so let it be that way now second part of it is the the regarding the positive thing and so that is a good part that what you have chosen to look at in the positive thing this is a challenging time we have to keep ourselves in the positive mode why we need to keep ourselves in the positive mode because when the rewards will start coming we'll miss it if we go into the negative mode sometime sometimes that thing will start it coming back things will get reversed the opportunity will coming will come back how we don't know but something will happen if we are go down too much into that negative territory even will miss that will not be able to catch that so it makes sense to keep yourself positive particularly in difficult difficult times so this is about the keeping the positivity third thing about the overall our feeling and responsibility and all those kind of things that uh, how can i feel good when so many people are dying and etc etc for that my advice is don't play god you are not responsible for somebody's death or the number of deaths in any country or any place okay so be be careful not to play the role of god you are not god it is, there is a divine plan but when the things are changed unless until you dismantle the previous one you cannot have the new one it is a simple that is a normal natural process so only thing is what my advice it see till its end and then decide yeah sometimes to understand this i give an example so that you can you can exactly correlate what i'm talking into suppose in our childhood my father was in government of west bengal in the civil engineer and he used to transfer a lot every two years three years he used to transfer from one city to another town you know the uh, west to stay in gold park then go to purulia then bakura then chuchura and all then salt lake and so and so forth now the kollani in the in earlier days now so many transfers so earlier in as a child initially when the transfer was hap happening i got scared why my all my things all my you know the the what is called the the toys are be getting packed you know my mother is busy she is not cooking that day i'm talking the people have come to take shift the material into the truck go to the next place so that particular day i got panicked everybody is taking my you know toys away i do i'm not getting proper food i feel like crying nobody is listening nobody time to me to listen to all those things it is a complete chaos why because i don't see the full picture i i only see whatever i had previously it is going and going rapidly very fast when the you know then after two days when we settle to the new house then we see the new setup it is a new place it is a better place better place there is a park in front of our house and it's a gold park you know so from kollani to gold park we transferred after that we realized what happening that time it is just a process it's a change over is happening but if we stick to complaining about not getting food and who why the people some unknown people are entering into our house i never seen them before and taking everything out from the shelf from this and putting into a box i don't know what is happening now the the all of us humanity is going through that phase like that child we are not understanding why everything has been dismantled everything is taken off whatever jo kuch bhi bacha tha wo bhi gaya that is the feeling we have now and that's why i'm saying wait till we settle to the next one everything will be clear why this was happening why that need to happen this way why somebody unknown people has to enter into our house and you know remove everything everything will be understood you know so just wait and in this point of time just focus inward and let the divine plan happen at it at his own way and in this particular time we should not play god we are not responsible for anybody's death or anybody innocent people dying some people are not getting food etc etc that is not our responsibility but what we can do we can pray for them pray who has the power we can pray to the powerful entity whatever it is universal consciousness 
so I, but I normally don't use the term God because God means different to different people. So to who has the power, pray to that power to take care of this for their ultimate good. How, what is good? We don't know. But that is the ultimate good. We can only pray. If you pray for them, your part is done. You are compassionate. You pray for them, but you need not to be unnecessarily sorry for what is happening. Okay. So everything has a choice. Everybody's soul is equally powerful. They are fully aware what is happening, what is in the best interest of that particular person. Everything is known and understood because other than that, it cannot happen simply. Okay. So just take it that way. That is a right spiritual understanding of the whole episode. All right. Okay. Anything, any other, any other question? Anurag? There is any other hand up there? No. Uh, I think Dimania is asking. Diman is asking again another question. Uh, Diman, yes. Will you please permit to leave? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. We'll do the meditation now. Please. Uh, anyone who has some other appointment or something, you can take leave. There is no issues. Already the the, um, the protection part is over, so you can you can proceed. You know. Um, all right. So now we will go into the uh, the meditation part. Sit down in a chin mudra on your uh, on your knees. Keep your back straight. Rajdeep, I have sent you some message. Just read. Mm, yes. All right. So close your eyes. And today is auspicious day of Buddha Purnima. Express gratitude to Lord Buddha, all the masters of Guru Mandala, Babaji and Mataji, Guruji Prem Nirmal, Ruma Bharti Nirmal, Amar Jyoti Ji, and all the masters who have guided us so far to come to this level of spiritual evolution. Now first you concentrate on your breathing. First step is Anapan Sati Dhyan. Follow your own breathing process. Feel the air going in and going out of your nostril. There is no need to manipulate the breathing. Let the breathing flow naturally, normally. Only be aware of it. Now the next step is called Kaya Upasana. Scan your body from bottom of your feet till top of your head. Just shift the focus one leg at a time. 
then west area go to up chest area one hands at a time right hand left hand shoulders neck the face forehead back head and top of your head just feel your body and repeat it again and again the scan again start from the bottom of your feet till top of your head while scanning feel if there is anything happening inside the body what is happening inside the stomach any uncomfortable feeling anywhere just be aware of that and keep refreshing this body awareness once you come to top of your head you can go back to the bottom of your feet and start again now third step called chitta upasana watch your thoughts with aloof attention just be aware of the thoughts passing through your mind no matter what the content of the thought is do not judge do not analyze do not level like this is good thought that is bad thought why i am thinking like this no analysis just watch now concentrate on the thought and follow its flow like where it is going and where it ends be alert and watch the thought one particular thought be aware where it is ending it is the characteristic of the thought that it cannot stay stand still it has to flow as it has to flow there should be some end to it as well be aware of the end of it
if you feel you got carried away with any thought just watch your breathing do some anapan sati dhyan follow the breathing it will make you center yourself again back and then start watching your thoughts again next step gap awareness while watching the thought when it ends there is a gap after that before the new thought comes so the way we watch the gap is we follow a thought go to its end and try to place ourselves immediately after the thought in the gap there will be feeling that some new thought is developing but before that you have to get into that that is gap awareness next step sandhikal jagruta here you have to follow your breathing again this time you have to follow it continuously moment by moment you have to refresh your awareness while inhaling feel the air is going in through your nostril follow that find out where it goes inside you at one point of time that inhalation will stop then exhalation will start in the opposite direction the point where it is stopping momentarily that is called the turning point or sandhikal only thing you need to be aware of that santikal exactly where it is stopping and turning there will be two turning points one at the end of inhalation that is inside the nostril inside the body another one at the end of exhalation where exhalation ends and inhalation starts which will be outside the body you need to be aware of both the turning points
Keep refreshing your awareness. Once you are aware of a turning point, it will open up on its own. Just being aware of the turning point, you enter into that fifth dimension, which is energy dimension. At the turning point, the oxygen we are inhaling get converted into prana, pranic energy. If we are aware of that point, then we get hold of prana to enter into the energy dimension. The pranic energy become our vehicle to enter into energy dimension. And that is not physical, it is subtle dimension, that energy dimension. When you enter into that dimension, you will feel a sense of sudden expansion. Expansion, peace and love. A domain of serenity, a domain of peacefulness. You have already entered that dimension, then be there. If you are not sure that whether you've gone to that dimension or not, then I shall request Mataji to help all of us to go there in that dimension. will seek help from Mataji. So be ready. I will reverse count 10. When I will say zero, all of us will be in the fifth challenge. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Feel the expansion. Feel the peace. Feel that loving energy. Feel the lightness.
Now sixth and final step, expanded awareness state. We'll start our awareness expansion from within the body, then we'll go out. We shall start our awareness from our heart. Focus on your heart, physical heart, not heart chakra. Physical heart, left hand side of your body. Connect with your heart internally and feel the heartbeat. This is also known as Rida Upasana. You have to get into the rhythm of the heartbeat. Feel the rhythm. If you are not sure that you are getting the rhythm or not, Place your left hand on your heart and right hand on top of it. And feel the heartbeat on your left hand. The heart is beating all the time for sure. Nobody's heart has stopped. Feel that heartbeat at your hand and get into the rhythm of the heartbeat. Once you are tuned in to the heartbeat, slowly remove your hands, but the, keep the tune within you, keep the rhythm with you. Now expand your awareness from inside body to outside the body. All around the body. Feel how your physical body is interacting with the immediate outside environment. Feel where you kept your feet. Just feel it. No need to move anything. Just feel how your feet are feeling while touching on the ground or wherever you placed your feet is. Now feel where you are sitting. Now you feel where you are resting your hands. How the hand is feeling, hands are feeling about the place these are resting on. Feel what is at your backside. If there's anything at your backside, feel that. Now 
Now check how your skin is feeling. Maybe some air is coming and touching your skin. It can be cold, it can be hot. It can be humid, whatever. You feel the air touching your skin. Now feel whether anything is happening at top of your head, at the Shastra area. Just feel any minor sensation or anything. And now be aware of your breathing. You're breathing out, breathing in the air. Be aware of your breathing also at the same time. Now refresh all these awareness. Rotate the awareness one by one, again and again, to feel all those things together. Now expand your awareness away from your body. To do that, take help of sounds. Listen to all the sounds around you. Do not judge anything. At this state, nothing can disturb you. You are way above that. Just, just listen to all the sounds. Whatever you can catch, listen to that. Maybe sound of your own breathing or some AC is running in the room or any other sound. Just listen to all the sounds. And now you keep rotating the awareness 360 degrees all around you. It is not one side or two sides, it's all around. Try to catch as much as sounds as possible. And keep expanding this radius. Now go beyond your room. Maybe some sound coming from the other rooms. Or other houses. Keep expanding. Maybe somebody talking somewhere. Keep expanding. 
maybe some sound of some traffic. Now with every rotation, keep expanding further and further. Now it can go up to infinite. Keep expanding. Beyond the country. Beyond the planet Earth. Keep expanding. Now you are the center of the universe and aware of infinite distance in all directions. And be in this state. This is called Shiva Vapti state. or expanded awareness state. This is the state of your soul consciousness. This is where your soul operates, your higher self operates at this level. At this level, Communication with masters are possible. At this state, receiving guidance from the divine source is possible. At this state, self-healing is possible. At this state, creating something new is possible. All the manifestations are possible at this level. Just enjoy this expanded awareness state. Next few minutes, there'll be no verbal guidance from my side. Just enjoy the state.
All right. Now rub your palms together and slowly come out of the meditation. Put your hands on your closed eyes for 10 seconds. I shall count 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slowly put this energy on your face and your whole body. And then slowly open your eyes. We shall end our session with the Shanti part. Om Sarve Sham Swastir Bhavatu Sarve Sham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhino Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Vadrani Pashantu Ma Kaschit Dukkavagave Om Shanti 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 Om Mangalam. Thank you, Guruji. Bob, Bob, Pranam. Pranam. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Pranam RPA. It was beautiful. Thank you, Anurag. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Rajdeep and everyone. God bless you all. Thank you, Aki and Thank you, Guruji. Pranam, Guruji. Pranam, Pranam. Thank you, Rajdeep, for this excellent session. Thank you, everybody, for this excellent session. Thank you. Rajdeep, I am ending it now. Should I? I am ending it now. Okay. Okay. <laughs>